Hey guys, this is Developer Dude. Welcome to our brand new tutorial series where we will be building a restaurant website from scratch. In this series, we will dive deep into HTML and CSS. And by the end, you will have a front end restaurant website to showcase. Don't forget, you can also get the source code, link is in the description. So without any further ado, let's start this video. So this is the first video of our tutorial series. Images को लेने के लिए हम जाएंगे अपने वेबसाइट पर developer dude dot in we have to click on our source code navigation here you can see this source code click on it and you will see all the website projects so we are creating this one zero zero one restaurant website so click on this it will take you to the page of our website project and here you will see photos okay click on it here is the website image folder click on this and download this zip file 001 restaurant website okay download this one so the folder is downloading means our images are downloading after downloading the folder the images folder you will see a zip file on your computer like this 001 restaurant website images now extract it use any software to extract this file so here we have to give a location where we have where we want to extract our folder images folder so i'm browsing it to desktop like i want images on our desktop so select i selected this folder desktop and extract okay so now it's extracting the file so files use ah uh, so files are extracted here you can see this images folder let me show you here you can see images image 1 image 2 image 3 4 and all the images are here in this folder okay so let's close this so we have download edges this is our images folder on desktop so now we have to create a folder structure for our website like pages and CSS file and uh, HTML files where we have to keep them. So let's create a folder. Zero zero one. Respro website. Spelling गलत है मुझे बताया but कोई बात नहीं. So copy this images folder, move this images folder to this restaurant website folder. Okay. Now open our Visual Studio code. This one. Okay. Now in this Visual Studio code software. Click on files, open folder, go to desktop and open this restaurant website folder. So our folder is here and the images folder is here. Now we have to create another folder which is for our website pages in this we will keep 
our html files pages okay now create another folder for our css files which is css okay in this pages folder let's create a file and name it index.html okay so here our index.html file where we will write html codes okay let's open this folder restaurant website folder so here you can see css folder images folder pages folder okay in this pages folder open it and you can see a index file okay now open this index file in your chrome just do drag and drop okay this index file drag it and drop it in your chrome browser it just you can see here so here we have open our index.html file close it so we didn't write any code here so this page is blank now let's write codes html file these are the basic code which we have to write in our index.html i mean in html file we have to write this code these codes are compulsory okay save it now let's check it refresh you can see nothing has changed it's already blank and now it is always blank now it is blank why this code is not showing because only the code which is written tag body element that will show on our web page like if i write in paragraph tag developer do save it and let's check here I refresh it and you can see developer do so whatever you will write within or you can say between this body element that will show on our web page so first let me teach you how to change title like this the home developer dude but here you are seeing document so let's change it first so change जो भी कुछ टाइटल एलिमेंट के बीच में लिखा होता है वो वहां पर शो होता है लाइक like, अगर हम इसे यहाँ पे डॉक्यूमेंट शो हो रहा है यहाँ पे डॉक्यूमेंट लिखा था सो so, यहाँ पे हम लिखेंगे होम एंड डेवलपर डू ओके लेट्स सेव इट एंड चेक इट हियर नथिंग एज चेंज बिकॉज वी आर नॉट रिफ्रेशिंग आवर पेज so i refreshed and you can see the title has changed so you can change the title of your web page using this this let's remove it and create our navbar let's create our navbar so this one you can see here to do that we have to first create a nav element and in this nav element we have to create a div okay and give it a class name nav1 okay and in this nav use anchor tag anchor tag ka istemal hum karte hain we use anchor tag for links so that we can click on this element and redirect on another page so we use anchor tags okay again another anchor tag hash and right here menu another anchor tag hash 
has is for dead links like when we click on this we will not redirect to anywhere so this is our dead link we will provide link here when we have completed our website when we will complete our website okay so let's check it out refresh here you can see home menu reservation these three things dev nav one dev this one these three things are in nav one div okay now this logo to add logo we will create another div and give it a class name logo and in this div use image tag and folder images and name of our image okay save it refresh so this is how you can add image on your web page now for this thing search i search bar and user create another div and give it class name nav2 okay and in this nav2 create a div give it class name search okay so in this search in the search div we will create this thing this only this thing okay first create a input element and type text okay let me show you what is input element this is input element this is input element where we input something like i'm writing my name this is where we will search now in this add a property place holder and right here search now you can see the turn in this input So now you are seeing this search icon. So let me show you that's how you can add the search icon icons on your web page. So first of all, open this images folder, which I have give you. And in this images folder, open this CDN link text file. Okay. Copy all this text, control A, control C, cut it and paste it means head element in your index.html file paste it in head element okay now save it and you can see here nothing has changed because we have added a cdn link not any icon we didn't add any icon okay to add the icon we have to go to fontawesome.com search here fontawesome.com okay so this is our font awesome website and here you have to search for icon whatever icon you want you can search here So we are searching for this search icons and you can see it is here. Click on it. And this dialog box copy this code. Okay. Copy all this code 
click on it and it will copy automatically and just you have to paste it between search div okay after the import element now save it let's see if that icon is showing okay so this is our search icon and you can see it is looking like this now not looking like this because we didn't add any CSS file we didn't write any styling code so that is why now let's focus on this thing this one user so we here we need this one icon and write our user so again let's open font.com So here, after the search div, after the search div, create another div and give it a class user. Okay, we have given this class the user and create an anchor tag so that we could click on this and we can redirect to another page of our website okay and between this anchor tag give a span use a span element and write here user okay save it let's check it out so you can see user now add icon search for the icon So this is the icon that we need. Copy the code. Close it. Go to our HTML file. Paste it. Above the user. Okay. Save it. Here it is. Look at this. This is icon over. Now we have added all the HTML elements that we need in our navigation nav bar you can say thanks for watching this video if you enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update leave a comment below with your thoughts and let us know what you would like to see next and don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video see you in the next video